Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and we do all things beauty, lifestyle, fitness. We do all the things here. But today we're doing a full review on a new product I got from Benefit Cosmetics. I am a huge Benefit Cosmetics lover. I find their products are so top notch. So I'm really excited to chat with you about this one. It is actually a brow product. So this is their new Gimme Brow Volumizing Pencil. So we're gonna be putting this to the test and doing a full demo and chatting all the things about it. So if you wanna hear my thoughts and see a demo, then just keep on watching. All right, so let's just jump right into this demo. As mentioned, we are doing a full review and demo using the new Benefit Gimme Brow Volumizing Pencil. If you followed me for a while, watched any of my favorite videos, or just basic everyday makeup tutorials over on Instagram or TikTok, then you know that the Gimme Brow Gel is one of my favorite brow products, especially for simple everyday makeup. So I am very excited to see if this is at par with that product because it does have Gimme Brow in the name. So first things first, let's talk about the packaging. It is different than what I imagined. It is actually a pencil, like a pencil pencil. So this is what the actual pencil looks like. So it does have a spoolie on the side. Any brow product that is a pencil that doesn't have a spoolie on the end, just upsets me to be quite frank. So very happy that it has a good solid spoolie on the end for easy application. And then this is what the pencil side looks like. It is a sharpening style pencil. So I'm excited to see how this works. A bit nervous because it's not very thin. I have three shades here. I have three 3.75 and four. So these are all pretty good shades for me. To be honest, in most of my brow pencils, I go with three because I have full brows. So I just need to add a little bit. Um, 3.75 probably would also work quite well as well. I'm gonna swatch these or try. Okay, so just to show you the differences in these three shades. So this is three, 3.75 and then four. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the middle one and start with that and then decide if I need to go up or down. We're changing things up, we're gonna go in with three. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one brow at a time to show you the difference. I know, I say this every time I do a brow product review, is that I know you can't really see because my brows are pretty full, Like, but I'm gonna try anyway. I am nervous that this is not going to be a great product for someone with sparse brows because it is not thin. So I feel like it would be difficult to really, really mimic brow hairs, but we're, we're going to put it to the test here. Okay. So I find I have to put quite a lot of pressure to get the product to go on the brow, but I do like the three because like I said, I like to just fill in. I'm not adding any shape to my brow whatsoever. I'm just really filling. Hope you guys can see okay. I'm gonna go into the front of the brow and just brush upwards. I'm using the same technique that I would with any other pencil that I own. Most of them, to be honest, are Benefit because I do really love Benefit's brow products. Okay. Oh. Just going, one thing that I do do is I try to extend my tail, but I don't think that shade's not gonna work for that. So I'm gonna go in with four for my tail. Oh my. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's not going to work. Okay. This is what one brow is looking like completed. I did not add a tail. I cannot get the precision with this brush, but it was very quick to do a nice fill of the brow. So if you are in a rush and you're just trying to fill in your brows, that is nice. But if you are trying to do any kind of shaping to your brows, I don't know if that's gonna be the product for you, to be honest. The reason is, is that you have to add quite a bit of pressure, at least I found, and then that kind of stops you from being able to do really small hair like brush strokes you know what i mean like mimicking the look of hairs it kind of stops you from being able to do that because you're pushing so hard and it's not thin enough 
pencil, if that makes any sense. Let me show you what I'm trying to say. So this is another benefit product that I use all the time and look, just look at the difference between the tips of these pencils. Obviously with the one here, you're gonna be able to get, this is precisely my brow, you're gonna be able to get a lot more precision than you will with this Gimme Brow uh, volumizing pencil because of just how thin it is. Very interesting. I see the point of this pencil being a little bit more fast paced for someone like me, for example, who just needs to fill in, but then adding in length, I would go in with my precise, precisely brow and get that precision. Oops, my spoolie. So that you're really getting the exact tail that you want or you know front of your brow that you want or arch that you want if you are adding in quite a bit of product so that is really the one thing i will say that is a con about it and something to consider if you are thinking about getting this product i'm going to quickly do this brow this is like i don't want people to think that this is a negative review it's it's not i'm not being i'm not trying to be negative whatsoever i just want to share my thinking on how i think this product should be used and who should be using it so yeah I, I just don't want to come off negative just honest I do think this product has a purpose I just don't think that purpose is for everyone once you kind of get the hang of how much pressure you need to put to fill in the gaps it is quite fast like look at that that's done now That is quite nice. I do like the shade three on my brows specifically. I'm just gonna go and add my tail in with my precisely brow. Whoop. Okay, easy peasy. I think I just went cross-eyed there. So my brows are done now. Again, like I'm not I was not trying to be negative whatsoever with that demo. I just wanted to kind of talk about how I feel this product can work with somebody and how I don't think it would work with others, so I think it really depends on one, your brows, how much hair you have on your brows really is going to determine whether this product is gonna be good for you or not. I think that if you are somebody with sparse brows who is really trying to create a specific shape and match them, I don't think that this is gonna be the right pencil for you. I would actually recommend that you go with the Precisely My Brow pencil by Benefit as well, because that one is gonna really, really be able to help you mimic those brow hairs and that exact angle that you want on your arch and length of tail, etc. Whereas the Gimme Brow Volumizing Pencil really does a good job of fluffing up your brows and making them look super full, but if you already have the hairs there. So I think it really works similarly to the Gimme Brow Gel, which kind of sticks to your hairs and gives a little bit more volume and makes your brows look fluffier so bottom line would i recommend this product yes to those who have brows that are already kind of set so what i mean by that is your shape is already set your you already have your brow kind of stencil done uh, if you will and you're just going in quickly to kind of fill them and make them a little bit more fluffy then I would absolutely recommend this product because it's speedy. Like once you get the hang of the pressure that you need to be putting down, it's really, really quick and nice. And I like the outcome a lot. I think this looks very natural, put together clean and crisp. If you are somebody with sparse brows needing to really do shape matching, um, adding a lot of uh, brow hairs, for example, and mimicking brow hairs, then I wouldn't necessarily recommend this product for you. I think that you should go with something a little bit more precise. I do wanna talk a little bit more about the product itself. It does say online it is an easy to use volumizing brow pencil that combines fibers and powder, which adhere to the skin and hairs to volumize, fill, and define. So that's really similar to the brow gel, so that's interesting. It's highly pigmented. I don't think it's that pigmented, to be honest. I think that you do need to put quite a bit of pressure before you find that pigmentation, but once you get the hang of how how much pressure to put I think it'll go a long way this product does go for $32 Canadian it's available at Sephora shoppers drug mart and of course benefits website as well so I will link them down below if you are interested and also write down the shades that I swatched in the shade that I used which was three one great thing I think I already mentioned this but one great thing about benefit is that they have such a good amount of shades for their brow products like unmatched truly maybe Anastasia Beverly Hills they really do knock it out of the park when it comes to the different types of brow products that they have to offer like different styles of pencils different styles of brow gels conditioners etc so whatever you're really trying to accomplish with your brows 
Benefit has the product and I find that they are fairly priced like $32 Canadian this brow pencil would last you a really really long time because a little goes a long way um, So I do think it's totally worth it. I recommend it for anyone who is looking for a really speedy product that they're just trying to fill in really quickly and kind of go out the door if you are somebody who uses the gimme brow gel on a daily basis this might be something that you would enjoy a lot so anyways that is going to conclude this review it's pretty short and sweet well once i i always say that and then i go to edit and it's really long <laughs> But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you've tried this product or if you are also a Benefit Brow fan. I definitely am. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and of course, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.